Infinite Magic Raid. This game is lots of fun and incredibly immersive for this style of game, okay? It has a complete storyline and faction settings with it. As you can see, the story is detailed, the graphics are great. During the adventure when you're playing, you constantly recruit heroes, you challenge dungeons, you defeat countless enemies to, of course, save the world. But you experience different cultures and customs all over the continents that they have available to you to explore. It's got strange cities and it's just got a really nice feel and continuity about it. So, what does it all entail? Well, the game itself consists of over 200 heroes, which is pretty crazy to think about. What you're looking at right now is when you first log in and all the different areas that are available to you. And here's a closer look at the characters. This was the first legend character I pulled, Serena, as you can tell. I mean, look at the builds on these. They look crazy good. And there are so many different types of characters. It's unimaginable the different kinds of combinations you can come up with with your teams. Now, what's really cool though too is when you start up, you get quite a few quality characters just by, by playing the game. If you finish the beginner's challenge, you get space. This is her right here, looking stylish as ever. A legend character, which is top tier in the game. A quality character at that, if you look at it. That's her basic attack. Her active skill, Nightmare, which not only deals 200% attack damage to a single enemy, with a 60% 60 60 chance to reduce their speed. Always love speed reduction in characters. Then you've got the passive skill, which is increases self turn meter by 18% at the beginning of each wave. Just quality stuff, and you just get this character from playing the game. And then if you just log in 14 days straight, you get Margarita. And this character is another solid character, another legend character. Uh, she deals some nice damage too. That's her basic attack, Sword Assault. You've got a 420% attack damage on her Blade Striker. That's her active skill. Her passive skill, she has six layers of blade. She consumes all layers and deals 200% attack damage to all enemies, AoE attack. And then she's got this Blade Dance passive that deals three stages of 100% attack damage each to all enemies. And then she regains three layers of blade. Really an absolutely sick character, to say the least. On top of all that, you've got your classic arenas. They've got a classic and advanced and a guild arena for those PvP modes and people that love that. Not only do you have the world map that I'm kind of showing you now, which looks absolutely sick, and it just kind of just flows so nicely. You've got dungeons too, and I've had some fun since I finally broke open the dungeons. I've been working on Dwarven Ruins, which has been actually a ball. Multi-battle system that they have, which continues even when you're offline and you can set it up. It is pretty crazy, so it's doing a lot of the work for you when you cannot play, which is really a nice feature. This game is all about the collecting, the cultivating, and then taking what you have and challenging by way of these all these different types of battles. Before I go, let's show you a bit more of the battle system. As you can see, it's in depth. The storytelling continues on at the start of each chapter, as well as in between even some of your battles. I'm just on auto right now because I'm recording this video, but by no means you have to use auto and there are parts where you should not be because you really have to plan out 
the assault of your team properly, which makes it so much fun for those types of things. So it's just not your standard, uh, I'm just gonna auto all day long type of game. Let's go ahead and throw a boss battle at you so you can see what it's like. It gets really difficult. This is the one I've had the most problem with. I'm actually working on some equipment, leveling up some stuff, probably gonna possibly change one or two characters in here. I've got enough now where I can alter things around. I do like for the most part what I have right now, especially as a beginner, it's working well getting through the different levels as well as even the dungeon. But look at how badass that looks in the background. The red fiery lava, whatever you want to call it, that it's supposed to be. It's just crazy. This guy like literally beat the crud out of me and I'm not even sure especially since I'm autoing it if I'm gonna win it looks like I will probably lose because of that yet again stressing the importance that you should not auto in this game on certain areas especially in the beginning but damn it looks like I'm gonna get it again barely with two characters but I'm not complaining I will circle back around to get the three stars and on top of everything else, you got the Halloween event dropping on October 31st. Two brand new characters, new freaking gameplay, as well as if you sign in for three days, you get the Halloween limited hero seal that you just saw previously in right now looking freaking dope, to say the least. And on top of that too, you've got little Jack as a limited hero. So it's going to be just for this time, which is really cool. Look at those graphics, looking sweet, very cool stuff. And then of course you got the login rewards as we talked about. Great time to start this game to say the least. But with this Halloween you get a limited dungeon, which is sweet looking. You got the trio match, which you see up there, themed with the Halloween stuff. And of course, like I mentioned, you know, the fact that you get the little Halloween theme in the dungeons and stuff is cool. I love this time of year. I love the holidays because they do so many cool little things in these types of games, which makes it fun and exciting. And there's usually tons of free stuff available. I'm going to put some codes in the description for some free stuff for you guys, as well as a link to download the game. So hit it because this is the time to play, especially with this Halloween event dropping. Take advantage of it. It's got so many characters that you can get for free right now. It is well worth your time. So if you're into this type of strategic game, I would say jump all in, okay? Because they've got this cool exclusive pity system for beginners. You get tons of rewards, as I talked about earlier. I mean, if you download the game and use the gift codes I've got, with the link I've got, you're going to get so much stuff, as well as two characters, not including the Halloween ones, Space and Margarita, if you finish that beginner's challenge and just log in for 14 days only. So if this is the game you're into, take advantage of it. It's got great idle gameplay, you have multi-battles when you're online and offline, what is there to say? It's that simple. Go ahead and give it a shot. It ain't gonna cost you anything, and it's a solid game and looks great. If you are into these types of games, I highly recommend it. So guys, I'm on server 19 right now, so come on in and friend me, and go ahead and join in and give this a shot. Again, I'm going to just put a link in the description to make it easy for you. Click on that link to download it, as well as some codes to get you going. But don't forget, try to do this as soon as possible because you want to take advantage of the Halloween events on top of the two characters that you're already going to get in the beginning in that first two weeks. As always, please like and subscribe. It helps so much. Hope you're having a great day. Take care.